Hi, this is Bob. This is segment two on the restoration of the uh, SS8000 transceiver from uh, Heathkit. Uh, this is uh, obviously an engineering prototype. At least this circuit board was. This is the uh, final output circuit board, the PA board they call it. If you see right here, there is a 001.001 microfarad or 1000 picofarad chip capacitor here and you notice over here there's one goes there that's missing there's also another one here that's missing you notice this uh, output transformer the uh, winding is gone it's not there at all so those things have to be replaced there's a lot of wires here that uh, that are not connected to anything and we got to find out where those go I did clean the circuit boards in the uh, wash tub uh, used a uh, paintbrush and some Dawn dishwashing detergent and uh, washed it then I baked it in the oven for a couple of hours at 170 degrees to get the moisture out I also discovered one thing you know you clean these up like this and you find things wrong and you find that these uh, coils here, for example, see this one right here? It was, uh, in engineering, they put little short leads in there, and then they soldered the toroid coils to those as, we, as they tested different toroids. And uh, these things here, some of them are loose, and it's kind of a sleazy way to do it. This one here appears to be overheated, so I've got to replace those as well. So there is lots and lots of work to do. There are two large capacitors. There's one goes right here. There's the, the one of the holes for it right there. And uh, then there's another one that goes back here. Mounts right in this location. 2200 microfarads at 50 volts. Those are missing. So those have to be replaced. All of the parts for the uh, input high pass filter here appear to be okay. They appear to be uh, all in there and of the correct values. So that's pretty good. But these other things have all got to be taken care of. And one thing that's different on the SS8000 from the SS9000 is the fact that uh, right here you have the coil for sensing the SWR. That's for your shutdown. If the standing waves are high it will shut down but on the SS9000 that's on a separate little circuit board in a separate little box but they didn't uh, uh, they didn't have all the WARC bands on this rig so they had room to put that on this board here but then when they built the SS9000 or designed that one they had to move it off in order to make room for all the toroids for all the other filters for the WARC bands it's all very interesting and uh, like I said before, I have no idea whether I can get this thing working or not. Because there may be some parts in here that I just cannot get. But uh, I'm going to give it a try. So that's it. This is segment two. And uh, I'm cleaning up the uh, PA or power amplifier board. Uh, I'm going to do that one first and get that working. We have to mount that on the heat sink and then I'll be feeding a signal into it and seeing if it'll amplify like it should we get the 100 watts out of this we'll be real happy then we'll start on some other parts of this very complex transceiver so that's it for now 73's and good DX